Hey y'all, today I am making moon pies. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact about me, um, I don't really love moon pies. I think it's like kind of trying to be a s'more and it's not a s'more. It's just like not great. I am hoping today that by making them from scratch, kind of recreating the recipe, that I can make them into something that I actually like. But before we do it, go subscribe to the Southern Living YouTube page. So upon first examination of a moon pie, I'm gonna kind of break this down piece by piece. So we've got chocolate on the outside. The chocolate is not super hard. The cookie is kind of chewy and dry, almost like a graham cracker. Let me do that. Yeah. The center of the moon pie is marshmallow. It's very like spongy. There's a bite of the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna leave this out. While, leave it out for inspiration while I get started on my cookie. So some ingredients that I think I'm gonna need, whole wheat pastry flour, vanilla extract, honey is crucial to graham crackers, baking powder and soda for leavening, light brown sugar and all purpose flour. So I like to cut most of my whole wheat recipes with all purpose flour, just to kind of help it taste better. A teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. Flour, sugar, soda, salt. Here's what I'm gonna do. I don't even think I need this, dude. I think I need to make this kind of like biscuits or like shortbread. So I am going to cut that butter into cubes and work it in with my fingers. I could use a pastry cutter, but I don't like to use those, honestly. These are your best tools, your God-given tools. Make sure I have all my dry ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and put this brown sugar in there. Pack. All right. So it has to be cold. This cannot be room temp butter. The butter is cold, so therefore it helps create like flaky layers. So if you look, if you examine, the moon pie. You can see it's like distinctive layers. I'm going to basically take like butter cubes like this and kind of pinch them and move them around in the flour. If you've made biscuits, you know what you're doing here. Do you know what I forgot to do? Turn on the oven. <laughs> I got you. Let's try 350. This is looking pretty done. I've got, you know, not huge chunks of butter. All the flour, it looks kind of like peas, like kind of coarse, wet sand. I need to add some salt to this. Add honey, a quarter cup of water, and then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I'm gonna give this a stir. I'm looking for this to be a like pretty dry dough, kind of like biscuits. So see that, how when I lifted my hands away, it like clumped together? This is looking good. Okay, it smells good. It smells like honey. It smells kind of like graham cracker, like weedy and honey. What I'm gonna do is move this to the side, clean my countertop off so I have like space to work with, and then I can roll out my dough ball. We can be back, we're back. <laughs> um, I am going to flour my surface. Make it rain. I'm going to break this dough in half just because it's a little bit easier to work with. For the people just tuning in, I am dancing in the moonlight, making moon pies from scratch. I've never made moon pies and I am figuring it out with y'all today. This is about as thick as I wanna go. Um, so let's look at this. They're gonna rise a little bit in the oven, so I'm rolling them a little bit thinner. Now, I need to cut them this is what I was originally thinking it was going to be, but it's a little too small. So I'm going to go with this. So like fun fact, if you don't have a cookie cutter, you definitely have a mason jar. Everyone either wants to be Joanna Gaines or they're a hipster or they're Southern. So they have mason jars. 
it, it's a fact. I don't have any parchment paper. My food stylist always packs this for me. Help, Sally! I have a sill pad. Here we go. So if you don't have parchment paper and you don't have one of these, you're gonna need to go to the store. But um, <laughs> if you do have one of these and you don't have parchment paper, then you don't have to go to the store. So here we go. <laughs> I don't know how many I'm gonna get out of it, but here we go. I feel like these might spread slightly, but I'm not positive. I'm kind of worried about the filling. I'm not as much worried about the cookie part. All right, we're going in the oven. I'm gonna pray over these really quickly. Dear God, please let these work. Amen. Yeah. 350, I don't know how long. My guess is like check it at eight minutes and then maybe 10, we'll see. Okay, these are looking good. This looks like a moon pie cookie. I might have done them a little bit too big. They spread like about a quarter inch in the oven. So I could go back with this ring and cut them when they come out of the oven. Yeah. Perfect. And then it gives it that like moon pie edge. I'll do three of these this way. So I'm gonna let these cool on the baking sheet for about two minutes and then I'll transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely. I think these are gonna be great. As much as I would have loved to not have to go pick up parchment paper for this episode, we have to go to get some because this isn't gonna work for my like chocolate and my marshmallow situation. So we're gonna go to work and then we're gonna go get lunch. I'm thinking Vietnamese. No, it can't get wet. Welcome to Birmingham, the Seattle of the South. It's raining, surprise. So I might just have to serenade us all the way to work. <laughs> Ivy. Here we are. Welcome to um, the Southern Living Test Kitchen inside of the Meredith office in Birmingham. Still raining. All right, my friend Callie is like the resident baking expert here. So, Callie, what are your thoughts on making a marshmallow filling for a moon pie? So, I wonder if spooned marshmallows, out. yeah, freeze them, freeze them and then cookie cutter them out. Sure. That's the other thing you could do. Right. So, what if you bake your marshmallows, hold it together, not form a crust or something? That's It'd be a, a thought. Bit of an experiment, but. Well, that's what that's what this whole day is about figuring it out from start to finish. So, okay, so I'm gonna try both ways. All right, cool. Thank you. Yep. All right, got my parchment paper. Talk to my friends about the execution of my marshmallow filling. We're going to pick up lunch and then I will see y'all back at home. Look who's back and better than ever. I'm back and full of wisdom from my coworkers and also full of Vietnamese food. I'm gonna try a couple of things for the filling. I want to make it easy on myself, so I'm going to do the... <sighs> marshmallow cream method and see if that will work. I need an offset spatula. Here are two. One from culinary school with my special duct tape on it. That's how everyone knew it was mine. No touchy. As soon as I start manipulating this, it's gonna get looser. So I'm thinking if I just like press it down, then it will set, but that's a little bit too much fluff. Still maybe too much. It's thinner and it doesn't go all the way to the edges. Okay, so I would say that's like a semi-success. I'm gonna do one more like that for good measure. That looks about right. And then I really wanna try this like melting marshmallow thing. Let's turn the oven on. I have an eight by eight and I'm going to put in 
some of these marshmallows. I do want to make sure these are in an even layer. Okay. I'm going in. What do you think, Basil? Is it going to work? She's eating my crumbs. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm taking these out. I don't want them to get toasty. They have melted and they're soft. And I had this thought that this is going to be too thick. So what if I spread this onto a tray like so, so I can spread it out in a thin layer? So I think like, I don't know how I'm going to get this off either. I don't think that's going to work. Yeah. I'm going to just proceed with the fluff. Fluff all of these up. I might do a little bit less because as these have sat here, it's spreading to the edge. And moon pies, they don't come all the way to the edge. So I'm going to put less in the center here. Recap, I have made moon pies from scratch, almost. I made the cookies, they turned out marvelous. The marshmallow filling, not so marvelous, but I had the grand thought of putting it in the freezer because the marshmallow fluff was leaching out of the side. So by freezing it, it will set it and I can um, cut around it. In an ideal world, instead of letting them set uh, like I was doing, you want to pop them immediately in the freezer after you put the sandwich on so that it doesn't ooze out. Before I pull them out of the freezer though, I am going to get my chocolate together. Ghirardelli is my favorite. It's like the most accessible and like actually good chocolate. I'm gonna give this a rough chop and put it in the uh, microwave. This is a lot of chocolate, it's 12 ounces, but I'm doing a lot because it's gonna take a lot to do those huge moon pies and I wanna have enough chocolate melted so that whenever I dip it, it's like a lot of chocolate and not, not a lot in the bowl. Makes it easier on me. I'm gonna melt this with like two tablespoons of canola oil. Okay, my chocolate is melted and like very, very smooth. I'm going to get the moon pies out of the freezer. They did not take very long at all. So this firmed up pretty well in the freezer. See? Ooh, you know what I could have done? Hmm. This would have been so smart. Pipe the marshmallow fluff onto parchment paper in rounds and then freeze that and then cookie cutter it. I might write that in the recipe. Now, this chocolate is gonna harden pretty quickly after I dip the moon pies in it. So, and then like dipping it. So that's a pretty good method. Okay, there we go. Moon pie number one. It looks like a moon pie. Does it taste like a moon pie? That's the question of the day. I put them in the freezer to speed the process up, so I'm going to get them out. They're pretty hard, like pretty, pretty hard. Here we go. To get them off, I'm going to pick it up, come at it from the bottom, and I'm going to snip a -roo the chocolate from around the edges. I'm thinking they look pretty good. They look like for real moon pies. In my handy dandy microplane, reason number 427 why it's my favorite kitchen tool. On the edges that are a little rough, you can shave the edges off to make it round. How fun is that? This one is going to be my hero. He is gorgeous. All right, moon pie to moon pie. Here they are side by side. My chocolate is a little bit lighter brown than the moon pie chocolate thickness wise about the same but now the moment of truth we have to cut into it here's the real moon pie
Mm. It's pretty good. Now let's get into mine. A little bit harder to cut, but pretty good if I do say so myself. But before I eat it, I have to do the real way. RC colon moon pie, put it in the comments if you have had an RC and a moon pie together. I've heard from multiple sources that that's the way to do it. So here we go. First things, let's try the RC. Ooh, okay. Columbus, Georgia. That is from my neck of the woods. I'm pretty sure Columbus is 229, like me. Okay, I'm going in. RC and moon pie. Mmm. Okay. Okay. The texture is way better than the original. Like, hands down. The taste. Like, I would get behind this. It's actually pretty good. I like it because the marshmallow is not overwhelming it. Like on this, I just feel like I'm eating straight up marshmallow. And the cookie has like a really good graham cracker, cookie, weedy, and honey flavor. With chocolate. Like, yum. Like, I would eat this whole thing. Mmm. Do you know what that reminds me of? Okay, get ready for it. Movie theater cookie dough with the Coke and this, this is what that tastes like. The candy at the movie theater. This sure? cookie dough. Dude, with, when you eat it with the Coke, it's so good. So if I am comparing apples to apples here, personally, mine I think looks better than a real moon pie. So I would give myself a 12 out of 10 for overall execution. And as far as taste goes, 12 out of 10 also, because it is 100% edible and actually delicious and would go back for more. It's so yummy. So, I'll, I think I might be a fan of moon pies now. I converted myself. Mm. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up on our YouTube page. I will see y'all next week doing... Something, whatever it is, I'll see y'all then. Bye, y'all. Moon Pies and RC. Good day. Good day.